Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Nabs. Live with Nabs. Episode number 434. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys had a great Easter weekend. Resurrection Day weekend. You know, this is the two words that defines if you're a Christian, a serious Christian, or just anybody else. So, uh, let's see. Let's invite our friends from the other side. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the other side. Where is the cemetery? Here's the cemetery. And Comedian Nazareth. And let's see. Stop it. Okay. And let's invite... Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see who's joining us today. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see, install later. I don't want to install tonight. Remind me later. I don't want to. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, please. Don't do that to me, please. Okay, we're going to update. Okay, let's update it. Here we go. Okay, let's see who's with us. Sarah, how are you? Welcome to the show. Ray, Ray Alfers, how are you? It's been a while. Good to see you. Catherine Allen, how you doing? Becky Altenberry. Hello, Michael Ramirez. Good to see you, brother. All right, let's see who else is joining us tonight. All oh, right, on this Monday uh, was my Easter. It was wonderful. What did we do Sunday? We got together with the family. I mean, my ch old church family, my extended close, close, close friends that I call family. There were about 100 people in a park, took over the whole park, lots of food. Delilah was able to to go crazy around the whole park and get to know everybody. And uh, John's girlfriend came with us. John's friend came with us. We had a great time. It was really, really good. Uh, we started the day, of course, we went to church in the morning. And before church, we listened to a sermon by Pastor Lawson, which is Maha's favorite pastor from Texas, Steve Lawson. And uh, it was great. We just had a good time. Thank you guys. Hope you guys had a good Easter. Coming to you from the other side. Welcome. Matthew Dirks, how are you? From Wheel of Weather. Uh-oh. I'm going to be there next Saturday. I hope the weather gets, you know, its act together. Chris Martel, how are you? Oh, no. Biden's handler. Yep. That's going to be our next question. Not Biden, but what a blessing my pastor Raul is. Love that guy. I love Raul Reese. He's a great guy. Rochelle is here. How are you, Rochelle? I'm getting hungry now. Naz, what, from watching the, the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Neil is here. All right, all right. Keep, come on in, everyone. We're going to, Chris Martell, Easter Sunday was sunny and somewhat warm here in Michigan. I woke up Monday morning and it's snowing. 40 degrees outside and it's snowing. That's a normal thing for Michigan. I'll be in Michigan the week after, so hope it's good. Rita, welcome, 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 welcome. All righty. Hey, guys, just want to be warn you and let you be careful. Uh, today, someone called my daughter, Carol, and said he, they are from Bank of America, fraud detection, and there was someone was trying to transfer money from her account to her through, uh, you know, zeal. And I just want to make sure she didn't do that transaction. She goes, no. And somehow they asked for her social security number. And somehow, because she was at work and, she, you know, she has school and all that, she gave him the number. But she was smart enough to where while she was on the line, she texted me. She goes, Dad, I'm talking to Bank of America and they asked for my social. I said, okay, get me on the line. So she gets me on the line. 
And I said, talk to the guy. I said, hey, I'm her dad. Yes, yes. He goes, yes, I'm from our deduction. I said, okay, what's your phone number? He goes, he gave me a phone number. He said, it's on the back of her card. I said, okay, can I, can I call you? Can I call you at this number? And the guy started effing me using the F word. I'm like, oh, oh, it's a fraud. And he goes, oh, <laughs> and he's effing. And he's like, okay, your daughter already gave her social. I'm already inside of her bank account, and I'm going to take all her money. <laughs> I'm like, you're very dumb because when she texted me, I already went into her account because I have access, and I transferred every penny out of the account. So if you like few cents, enjoy them, Mr. Fraud. I wasn't a good Christian, and... I was really upset. I just don't like people who do that, who take advantage of other people and, and do that. Just as horrible, just horrible people. And the guy, I mean, he's not from India. He's not, he's, he's a guy from the U.S., very rude, very vulgar, very impolite. But guess what? He's getting nothing. Okay, that's it. So please... Whoever calls you, never give your social security number. This is a service, community service announcement from Comedian Nazareth. That's it. Look at my hand moving there. I just, okay. So let's see. Oh, no, not another scam. Yes, they tried. Hello from Highland. Amy, how are you? Amy, it's not working today. Good. Because you mentioned lots of food with your family. Oh, um, okay. I thought you saw the bunny and you got hungry. I saw a clip from John making fun of his mom that Nash shared. Thank you, Neil. He is funny. He's a he's a funny guy. Okay. Yeah, it's on dry bar. Good work, Papa. Thank you. Yeah, Nails. <laughs> you get him then. <laughs> Those people should get a job. I know. Or should go to prison. Do you did you report it? I called Bank of America and because I forgot that my daughter is twenty one, it's like we can't talk to you. Like, listen, I opened her account when she was six, buddy. We can't talk to you. She's over 21. But she looks 20. Trust me, she looks younger than 21. She's at 21. She's an adult. But she doesn't drink or smoke. Is that still, is she an adult if she doesn't drink or smoke? <laughs> I'm trying to negotiate with the bank because I still think my kids are kids and I can handle it. Naz, that's called righteous anger. I don't think it's not being a good Christian, but that's just me. Jesus flipped tables over corruption. Yes. And you know how many people try to do identity theft with Jesus and claim to be Jesus? And he was he was aware of it. He said, there are going to be people that are going to come and claim that they are. Don't do that. See? Not that I don't have the same, <laughs> the same peace Jesus have and grace. Thank you so much, Michael. I appreciate it. They hate it when they get caught. Yeah, he didn't get anything today. Feeling overwhelmed tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. Lily is here. Hi, love. Are you okay, my brother Bobby Miller? All right. Okay, all 87 people last Friday, I asked you the question. If California were to become two states, what would, that, what would they be called? If California were to become two states whose people were working on it, it's called the Jefferson Project, and it would become two states. What would they be called? At number 20, California. At 19, the state of Jefferson and Garbage Grove. At 18, the mountains and the wasteland. At number 17, left and right. At 16, conservative and Marxland. At 15, freedom and not freedom. At 14, gold and rush. At 13, unhoused and housed. At 12, Oregon's bottom and Mexico's head. At 11, high and higher. <laughs> At 10, hellbillies and hipsters. We're calling, if we're going to divide California into two states, what would they be called? At number 9, Southern Palm and Northern Sequoia. At number eight, Veganville and Sun Bernia. At number seven, Shakes and Bakes. At number six, Fires and More Fires. I want to live in the Fires one then. At number five, Sequoia and Diego. At number four, Drought and More Drought. <laughs> At number three, Smoky and Smoggy. At number two, Redwoods and Firewoods. 
And the number one, worse, if they divide the state, what they should call them? Thing one and thing two. Because we're generally, you know, <laughs> trying to be very careful and considerate. Thing one and thing two. That's funny. Thank you, guys. I think uh, if I say it was Becky Voth that got it, I'm, I don't want her to get into this whole pride issue with Sarah and make her suffer. So, okay, it's an undisclosed person, you know, unidentified. All oh, right. Did she close her bank account? No, what they're going to do is they're going to but what they're going to do is they're going to close, you know, change her username and get her a new, you know, debit card. But it's funny, you know, she, she my daughter is funny. She goes, Dad, UCLA gave my social security when they had this, you know, breach when they, you know, last year. And they send every parent saying, hey, somebody got hacked our our." our school computer and they got all the information so she goes don't worry dad i'm not the first one who gave him my that's what yes the poor and the rich yes i know it was my mom at number one i'm sure she'll find out at least landed a couple on the list to make up for it you did the vaccinated and the, oh that's right lily the vaccinated and the non-vaccinated all right, Rosetti is here. How are you? Okay, here we go, people. The first question came from... Okay, the first question is about what do you think the Easter Bunny is doing today after this whole Easter? This I, I just wrote this question. I thought of it today. I'm like, what do you think the Easter Bunny is doing today? I know other than guiding uh, Biden. <laughs> Did you see that? The Easter Bunny was like one of the secret service. Like, come on, this way, this way, Mr. President. I know you don't know where you're going. Is this really, I don't know, I don't want to get political, but, you know, Biden looks a little confused. I am so sorry. If he, if he had dementia, I mean, God bless him. It's okay. It comes with age. Nobody, I had, I had family members, two family members who died and they had dementia. I'm not... I'm not making fun of dementia, but if you have dementia, let us know, okay? Put someone else. Do something. Just let us know he has dementia. I mean, it's just, he's like, he's don't know what he's doing. Sometimes he's walking like, who do I shake hands with? I'm not making a president. I pray for my president. I don't make fun of him. But what's going on? So, <laughs> advising Biden on egg control. Oh, you believe in egg control? <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, it's, oh, it's, it's not climate control, it's egg control. <laughs> He's eating leftover peeps, that's right. Dreaming of all the children, they'll scare, <laughs> they'll scare next year. Drinking a tall one after handling Biden at the Easter egg roll. <laughs> Make an egg salad, nursing a hangover. <laughs> Pushing up daisies. Trying to keep Joe Biden from making a fool of himself. <laughs> you guys are fat. Uh, okay, it's 8.45. Please hydrate and share. All right. Sitting on a donut and all ordering preparation edge online. All right. He's combing his hair, <laughs> advising Biden on egg control, eating deviled eggs. The bunny went to join Santa on his vacation, right? Going to Disneyland. That's true. That's what they do after the big day. Ness, do you see when Biden reached out to shake someone's hand, but there was no one there? Yeah, I saw that. That's what made me kind of, huh? Yeah, come on, dude. Looking for his lucky rabbit's foot, retiring, thumbing around, <laughs> playing poker with the Tooth Fairy and the Sandman. Now I know the Tooth Fairy. I mean, I've I've left her some money, but who's the Sandman? I, you know what? I've I've been here thirty-eight years. I don't know who the Sandman is. I'm I'm from the desert of Kuwait. That's where I grew up. I should know who the Sandman is. 
We didn't have the Sandman. But there's a song, the Sandman has come from f too far away. Yeah. Who is the Sandman? Can someone explain that to me? I believe, where is, where is art when you need them? I believe it's just Obama's sock puppet. There's a sound bite from Obama talking about just this type of scenario. Trying to find work. Waiting for the Orthodox Easter than he's done. That's right. <laughs> One more week. That's funny, Catherine. Multiplying, of course. Hanging out with the Mad Hatter. Fluffing his cotton tail. Trying to track down all of his children, right? The bunny went to Walmart to buy all those cle <laughs> clearance baskets for next year. That's a good idea, guys. Heading to Ramadan. <laughs> Ramadan. Oh, how do you know about Ramadan? Uh, we are in the middle of Ramadan, people, which is uh, the holy month for Muslims where they pray, uh, they fast for a whole month. They fast, not, they don't eat, not, uh, not eat the whole month. They fast from like three in the morning until five, six in the evening or sunset, from sunrise to sunset every day. And then they just chow down they eat everything when i lived in kuwait all the hospitals were full every day of ramadan because you know ramadan months was party time if you live in a muslim country ramadan that whole month is fun because you know because if people are fasting they go to work late and they come home early because they're too tired to work so they just you know resting and then all the stores are open, you know, they don't close at 9 p.m. They're open till midnight, 1, 2 in the morning. Everybody's out eating and ch ch and people are going food poisoning to the hospitals and it's, hospitals are full from people overeating. Just horrible, but it was fun. We loved it. We loved that time. Praying bunny support. He throws sand in your eyes and makes you sleepy. Oh, is that what he does? The poor man is suffering from probably Alzheimer's and dementia. I know. I feel bad for him. Can you, you know, you're running a country like that? Huh? Hiding from the alimony people. Talking like that. You know what I mean? Tomorrow on my podcast, I'm going to have this pastor called Kevin McGinnis. Kevin McGinnis, he is funny. I don't know him very well, but I connected with him through a friend, John Lupo, the other, you know. The other mafia guy. But anyway, this pastor is hilarious. And he's honest. He's 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 okay with his words. He doesn't he doesn't hold back words. I'm like, ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, you're a pastor from New York. So we're gonna have fun tomorrow from a pastor from New York, one of those New Yorker. Okay? So tomorrow he'll be on my podcast. And because we have a podcast at six thirty, we will not have a show tomorrow. But we'll resume on Wednesday. But we still have a good show in front of us tonight. Looking for Thumper. The Sandman is the guy that helps kids fall asleep faster. Oh, I didn't know. I needed to know about him when the kids were younger. From Google, the Sandman is a mystical, mythical character in European folklore who puts people to sleep and encourages and inspires beautiful dreams by sprinkling magical sand into their eyes. Really? Have you ever had sand in your eyes? I did. We used to have dust storms where everything turned orange and just you get sand in your eyes from all the the storms, the the wind and it goes through the desert and all those dunes, all that comes to your town and everything in your house turns orange inside. If you have a window open, you're doomed. Not dunes, doomed. And yeah, so they put sand in your eye and you fall asleep and have sweet dreams. <laughs> Those Europeans. He makes the eyes feel scratchy so you close them. Oh, waiting in line for Costco gas. That's what <laughs> the bunny is doing. Wishing he used COVID as an excuse to stay home. <laughs> the Sandman is from Metallica's song, Enter Sandman, where he scares children who are sleeping. Trying not to become a fur pill. <laughs> pellet the sandman visited you in your dreams no it didn't i didn't i fast too i drive fast to in and out burger no food sunrise to sunset everyone is up at 4 a.m yep so they can eat before sunrise 
So it's like Mardi Gras. It's kind of. With all the fasting, no wonder people are so angry. Oh yeah, they get mad. And over in Kuwait, if they see you eating or smoking or something, they give you a ticket. My dad used one time got a ticket because he was caught. He was smoking while he was driving to work. And he forgot it's Ramadan and he got a ticket. And the guy like was mean, the cop, like, how dare you? He goes, I'm a Christian, I don't. So you got to be considerate of other people. Okay, Stan is the guy played by Michael Dorn in the Santa Claus 2. Oh, that's a creepy version, Michael. <laughs> the bunny went to sleep, <laughs> to slap sleepy Joe today. Well, maybe Joe got the Sandman <laughs> trying to get Bugs Bunny to, to be his stand-in next year. But it's a great song. <laughs> Tracking down little bunny Fufu hopping through the forest. He's a field mice activist now. Probably packing his gun and badge today. I, I say it was Secret Service in disguise. I think he was. I think, yeah, that bunny was a Secret Service. The Sandman is Michael Keaton, dressed up like Scrooge from Christmas Carol. Eating leftover eggs. Practicing his lines for the Roger Rabbit reboot audience auditions. Yeah, for thumping those field mice on the head. Rochelle, hoarding toilet paper in his burrow. <laughs> the Sandman is just a thing people made up from when they would wake up with little crusty things in the corner of their eyes. Ah, okay. Yep, little bunny fufu is, is mean. <laughs> Eating a Chick-fil-A. Going back to his carrot cake. Hanging out with Winnie the Pooh, right? The bunny went to church to repent for his sins. Okay. Okay, so question. What do you think the Easter Bunny is doing today? Other than helping Biden. Then how do you explain sand in your eyes when you go camping in the desert? <laughs> Saying... What's up, Doc? Eating chocolate. Okay, let me change the question on you. I think we're done with that. This one came from Rita, who's been generous with her questions, taking a long nap, checking his paws up, and drinking a beer. Okay, uh, why I was fired at Walmart, from Walmart, or at Walmart? Why I was fired at Walmart? Okay, Phil. Okay, this is what she came with. She goes, I was underdressed. I sold the greeting stickers on eBay. I showed up, greased the wheels on the carts. I wouldn't work on the day I married my second cousin three times removed. <laughs> Why were you fired from Walmart? I forgot my pants. Okay, Neil. That makes sense. I would fire you for that. Defending against fake chocolate lawsuits. I wouldn't greet people. <laughs> my pajamas didn't match. <laughs> ah. Being funny, flying a plane, dropping Easter eggs on everybody. I think he's getting the dye stain off his costume. Trying to figure out how to lay eggs because of the Easter egg and Easter bunny thing is confusing. Vegging out, taking a long nap. Okay, I wouldn't greet people. Defending against fake chocolate lawsuits, that's what the bunny is doing. I got tired of saying, welcome to Walmart. They caught me using the display toilet again. <laughs> I keep hitting people in the kneecaps. I was fired from Walmart because I was trying to take over the world. I thought I was Walter. <laughs> I would not wear a mullet. <laughs> I told someone the correct aisle. That's funny because they never tell you the right way. I couldn't find my mask because I wouldn't always brush my teeth. I wouldn't check the receipts. 
They wouldn't fire you for not brushing your teeth. Come on, it's Walmart. I wouldn't check the receipt. I kept telling people to get out while they still can. They didn't like my special chaps. Kirk Habertson, welcome back. It's been a while. Happy Resurrection Day. Happy Easter. I ate all the hot food. I was frisking people as they come in. What is this, an airport, Becky? I kept slapping people with fish. I was fired for eating a chicken leg from the rustier chicken. That's what I do when I bring chicken. You know, this already roasted. Before I get home, I just open it, take one of the wings, and just <laughs> eat it. I cleaned up everything on aisle three. I told the customer to use the self-checkout because I was tired. I would <laughs> wear Crocs. You have to. I kept playing war games with the toys with people. They didn't appreciate me calling everyone it. <laughs> I was just trying to be inclusive. Good one, Risha. Randall Warner, I'm looking forward to see you. Sir. Are you coming to the, the cup? We have two shows at, I think, 6.30 and 8.30. Would love to see you there. I kept taking a bite of the produce and then putting it back. <laughs> Kristen Ann, I ran and never looked back. I don't blame you. Welcome, Kristen. Were you with us before, Kristen? If not, we need to know one question. City and state, where you at? That's all we ask. My eyelashes weren't long enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I ran into those at my Walmart. They're like, hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm like, do you pull him back at night when you go to sleep? Like in the awning, like an awning. And just roll, roll him back. And in the morning, hi, hey, it's windy today. I can't go in. Where's the sand man? I can't see anything. <laughs> I <laughs> I was telling everyone to get off their phones and get to work, okay? I was just sampling the deodorants, gotta try before you buy. Am I right? Of course you are. I actually organized the shelves, drag racing the courtesy carts in the parking lot, giving everything away for free. I wouldn't dye my hair blue. <laughs> no mullet, no blue hair. What are you doing at Walmart? Go get a job somewhere else, Sarah. I told the child the Easter Bunny is not real. All right, I would love to see you, Randy. I kept stopping cars from hitting cars. I mixed the shoe sizes. <laughs> they said I was in Walmart. <laughs> I love this. The way you put it, Rochelle. I was in Walmart material. <laughs> that means you're too good for Walmart. That's what I mean. <laughs> you don't meet their standards. Their low standards. <laughs> you're higher than that. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's 9 o'clock, people. Hydrate and share this show, please. Please, it's okay. No one's going to hate you. If people don't like you because you share a lot, you don't need them as friends. All righty. Um, oh, by the way, just to let you know my schedule, this Friday, oh, it won't be a show because Friday morning at 8 o'clock, 8.30, I have to rent a car from Corona. Drive to Loma Linda University, do a show for the physicians and the nurses. 11 o'clock, drive five hours to Merced, California to do a concert to raise money for a crisis pregnancy center called the Alpha Crisis. So finish the show, drive back to Fresno an hour, sleep, get up at 3.30 in the morning, get to the airport, for a five o'clock flight to Milwaukee, 
and then drive, rent a car, drive two hours from Milwaukee to Green Bay, do two shows, go to a hotel there, sleep a little bit, get up in the morning and do Celebration Church, drive two hours, fly out of, you know, Milwaukee Airport back to Ontario, California. Did you know one day to rent a car because I'm dropping it in Fresno from Corona? $320. $320 for one day to rent a car because I'm not bringing it back. If I bring it back to the same location, it would have been $70, $80. $300. But what am I going to do? So, that's what's going on. Okay, so no show on Friday, and we'll be with you tomorrow. We'll have the podcast Wednesday and Thursday. We'll enjoy time together. So you're not Walmart material, Rochelle. I told everyone this is child care. Let your children free. <laughs> oh yes, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Good evening, Naz and friends. Hello, Beverly. Welcome. Well, your question is: Why were you fired from Walmart? Because I took my co greeter's phone when they wouldn't stop tick-tocking and throw it out the door. Well, good for you, Sarah. <laughs> I was way too early for work and went shopping. <laughs> I had too many teeth. <laughs> Couldn't you just color one black or two of them black and get the, keep the job? I actually knew where things were. Yeah, Christian Ann, that's right. I remember you. Let me remember it correctly. I think you were from the city church in Anaheim. Am I correct? Started a Nerf war on aisle four. Kept giving customers that I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you as they walk. That is funny. That is, can you imagine what I'm watching you? <laughs> oh, taking bites out of the chocolate to find the filling. <laughs> Threw out all the one plate. The Easter said, hop along, Cassidy. <laughs> Hello, Betty Hardy. How are you? I was too friendly giving everyone a hug. <laughs> Ask people to smile for the security cameras that they come in. The Easter Bunny, yes. I was giving away free beer and wine. <laughs> Kept suggesting they provide free colonoscopies to draw customers. Oh yeah, that will draw them. I took all the smile stickers and replaced them with frowny stickers. My blue vest said, I don't want to help you. <laughs> Good one, Bobby. I was passing out the advertisements to Target. <laughs> I was the reason the motorized shopping carts always had dead batteries. I told the people living in the camping section to leave. Yep, that's awesome, Naz. Make them laugh. They could use it, I'm sure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, keep me in prayer Friday, guys. I'll ask you on Thursday. That's why I wasn't able to use one today. Because of you, Sarah, using all the motorized. Put your track shoes on and run. Kept using in house phone, telling customers first one to customer service would win 500 Walmart gift cards. <clears throat> Showed up in a red shirt and cocky pick <laughs> as target. You get to hang out with the cheese heads. Yeah. Sandy Patty will be in Lincoln, North Carolina. Oh, where are you at? That's where you're at, Kirk, right? On Friday at the Citizen Center in town. I just heard her song or listened to it again, the Via De La Rosa. That's powerful. I kept stealing the subway sandwiches. I was going to say 500. That's crazy. Naz, me and Bobby go with you on the five-hour drive. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be great if you guys can do that. And then drive the car back, and I'll pay you instead of paying 300 But then wait, I need to get to the, oh yeah, the, the Fresno Airport next to my hotel, so I'm okay. 
Oh, that's a lot. It must have a full tank of gas. I told my customers to shop at <laughs> Muhair. Is that how you call it? Muhair? Muhair. Because everything is cheaper. Wow, that, that sounds like rental car extortion. It is. They didn't appreciate my dumping skills. I thought using my truck to move the merchandise was more efficient. No. All right. Come on with me, people. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Five hours? That would be fun. I don't want to drive Naz crazy. No, you won't. True story, I didn't get hired at Walmart, but Safeway did. So glad they did. <laughs> they told me to apply at Goodwill instead. <laughs> Take the train. I can't control that. It takes more than five hours to get to Merced. I said the food sections were closed for intermittent <laughs> fasting. I kept locking the doors to the entrance. I went to Target. Good one, Monty. I would clean the restrooms on my break. You shouldn't do that. It's Walmart. I wasn't married to my cousin. I was acting like I was the owner of Walmart. Oh, I kept asking the customers why they were buying this crap, just looking out for them. It's so kind of you. Trying to figure out the automatic doors. I kept sampling all the ice cream. Okay, hopping along. <laughs> I kept saying, hello, welcome to hell, instead of whatever dumb things they wanted me to say. Kept handing out pregnancy tests. <laughs> I'm sure they, I'm sure they, come. you're so generous. I'm sure that <laughs> some of them will find out. They <laughs> was asking customer for proof of diploma before they could enter. <laughs> Are you trying to empty the place, Neil? Ah, I kept forgetting to clock out for lunchtime and got paid for it. I got caught sniffing the toilet paper. <laughs> I tried being reasonable, didn't like it. I put all the cards in the entryway, the doors couldn't close. I kept saying, you could do better than coming here, handling out prune samples <laughs> as the customers came in. I used the house phone to tell everyone the store is closing soon and to drop everything and walk to the exit. <laughs> Good one, Chris. Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Carpool lane too. Ah, I sit next to Lily Navas on the five-hour drive. <laughs> we still, she haven't decided yet. You're going to be driving, Michael. <laughs> I kept riding the bicycle and chasing people down. I got caught selling Fred Meyer products. I was welcoming customers to assisted living senior sister center. Pay us a hundred dollars, we will take you. Okay. Let's see. Now we got several offers. My hair is pronounced Mayer. Okay. Because mujer in women is a is a woman in Spanish. Mujer. Ned, if you buy the limousine, I'll be your chauffeur too. <laughs> I held up a sign with a number for CPS on it. I kept asking every day for a raise to the boss. I got fired for squeezing the charm. <laughs> I made everyone pay with pennies because they're the forgotten coins and I have emotional attachment to inanimate object yep lincoln i kept pulling the fire alarm to go home early <laughs> i was standing at a checkout register that's why they fired you letting customer think sam walton buried treasures under plumbing section i kept giving spoilers to the movie people were buying <laughs> we got a minivan for your trip thank you amy Making faces to the security camera. I pulled the fire alarm. I kept rolling back prices. I'm joking. I got to go. No, I understand. You're very kind. Thank you. I kept building walls everywhere because, well, it's a Walmart after all, right? Wouldn't let this lady bring her emotional support boa constrictor shopping. I asked everyone what they identified as while they were in there. <laughs> that's yep that's grounds to fire you in california mr neil 
I kept trying to sell watches to people as they were coming in. I thought Walmart was Cole's warehouse. <laughs> I tried to give people rides home in my white van. <laughs> All righty. Okay, people, let's do that. Guinness Book of World Record. Let's do Guinness. Shoot, I didn't do a Guinness Book of World Record. Let's see. No wonder I was done fast today. Let me fix this. All right, people. Guinness Book of World Record. Let me do that while you guys are still answering. Today is... National, come on, National Animal Cracker. Let's try Animal Cracker. Today's National Animal Cracker Day. So let's see what we got. No. Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. Animal Cracker. Okay. 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 What's the fastest time to eat three cream crackers? No, 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 no. Most Chris, no, that's not. What's a cream cracker? Cream cracker. I don't know what a cream cracker. So why would I ask you to do something you don't care about? Perform. Largest rice cracker mosaic. Okay. They have a rice cracker mosaic. Oh. They made a mosaic from rice cracker. And here's the, here's the question. The largest rice cracker mosaic created by Soka... Sensibi Promotion Council in Japan, in Soka, Saitama, Japan, on September 30th, 2018. Okay, how, how much did it measure? Over a thousand under 5,000 square feet. Over a thousand under 5,000 square feet, a mosaic, a cracker, rice cracker mosaic. Give me your answers. Let's see, what is it? Over a thousand, under five thousand square feet. Here we go. Okay, Becky started. I mixed up. Okay, while you're doing it, let's get hydrate and share all 90, 92 people. Remember tomorrow at 6.30 p.m., not at 8.30, 6.30 p.m., we will have our podcast, Laughter for All podcast. Pastor Kevin McGinnis from uh, Long Island, New York, will be with us. Okay. Well, let's see. Some of you are still telling me why they were fired from Walmart. I kept saying hands where I can see them. <laughs> I tried to give people rides home. Okay, Monty. I stole Fern too from the entertainment section. I kept asking the males if they were pregnant. Brought my mother-in-law with me. <laughs> they fired you. I kept jumping off of the shelves thinking I could fly. <laughs> Rex, I only wore a trench coat. <laughs> Monty, come on, Monty. I kept the full Monty. <laughs> I kept talking, t taking people's orders to the wrong cars. I wouldn't let people come in that had mullets. <laughs> I thought that's all we have there. I kept making the detector go off site as I tried to leave. I kept eating all the goldfish. Okay. Michael is copying Lily. Left my kids in the toy section for my shifts. Daycare is too dang expensive, right? I yelled, the UFOs are coming. Go get yourself a big jar of animal cracker at Smart and Final. Okay. I don't eat animal crackers. I'm just, I'm a vegan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kept setting off the sprinkler with my lighter. What that? Sold. I said I don't like top ramen. I mixed up all the shoes and ripped holes in the shirts and pants. Okay, here comes the numbers. 
2773, 3773, and 4773 for Becky Ottenberry. Sarah said 1500, 3500, 4500. Amy said 1212. Amy said 2421. Okay, Amy said 3211. Neil, 1289. 3393 and 4191. I copy Michael, too late. <laughs> Bobby, 1150, 1500, 2000. Rochelle, 1237, 2237, 3237. I set off the smoke alarms with my battery-powered cigarettes. <laughs> Kirk said 1555, 35, 35, and 4895. Betty Hardy, 2500. Dolores, 1279, 2733, and 3966. The Rooster and Ruby the Red Hand, they said they appreciate the artwork, but they would probably eat the rice cracker mosaic. Sure. 1259, 2502, and 3111 for Lily Navas. Okay, and Sarah and Rita handing out the other one. 1542, 3721, and 4432 for Debbie Malone. I was mooning everybody. <laughs> Michael, 1259, 2502, 3111, copying Lily. Sell, sold. Chris Martel, 2774, 3774, and 4774. Hello, Pancho, my friend, Frank, how are you? Hello, everyone, running late? Nope. Never too late. What is the... They made a mosaic in Japan out of rice crackers. How much did it measure? Over... Uh, a thousand under five thousand square feet. I offered valet service for the motorized cart. Catherine Allen says twelve thirty four forty thirty four fifty six twenty three forty five. Pancho, that's fast. Twelve seventy five twenty three forty six twenty one eleven. Rita twenty two twenty two thirty three thirty three and forty four forty five. The rooster said his performance on Good Friday was. I mean that's right. He did the Easter. He started the guy playing Peter really bad that he nearly fell off the stage and said some choice words up. Oh, the ones I was going to say to the to the guy that today, the fraud guy. The rooster laughed so hard and that felt very pleased. Well, I'm glad he did. Why aren't there Walmarts in Afghanistan? Because there are all targets. <laughs> I told the customers that curbside was closed and that they had to come inside to get their groceries. The rustier chicken legs were great at the fast food stop in Walmart. Yeah. Sold. Challenging the customers to a motorized car race in the parking lot. Sold, sold, sold. I wouldn't leave the emotional support parrot at home. Sold. Okay, here comes Matthew Dirks. 1333, 2010, and 1555. Betty Hardy, 3,500. Seriously, I don't have any physical therapy appointment for probably next three and a half weeks. If you need a driver, call me. Okay, I will. So, so, Naz, who are these people who ask if they if you're voted at Walmart? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I ate all the customers' food. Okay, here's the answer, people. The largest, the largest rice cracker mosaic in, from Japan. They made it in Japan. It measured 1,248 square feet. So now we have a problem, not a problem. We have a good problem. We have several winners. We have Rochelle who came up with 1237. She was 11 away. Then Lily came up with 1259, which is 11 away. And now Mr. Michael's copying Lily. So now we have two and a half winners. So Rochelle and Lily, congratulations. Michael? Next time I see you, if you want to drive with me to Fresno, here's what you're getting. <laughs> okay, congratulations, people. So happy you guys won. All right. One day I will win TP again. Who said that? Sarah, yeah, one day. It was soon. You won, I think, last month. Rochelle, Lily, and Michael, two and a half winners. I kept taking the blind people's games because I thought they would knock everything over. <laughs> ah, I said 12-12. Twelve, twelve. 
yeah, you're about 36 away. It was 1248. So you're about 36 away, but Lily and uh, Rochelle were 11 away. One half of place squares. <laughs> it's been a while since I won TP Nets. I can feel it. I'm sorry. Okay, well, we'll keep doing it every night until you, everyone wins, at least. By now, everyone should have won. Okay, it is 9.22, and one more minute, we will have our... Uh, prayer time so again I want to tell you this Friday we're gonna have a show I'm gonna have a show I'll be out of town I'll be in Merced California which is north of Fresno and then on next morning I'll be flying to Wisconsin and doing Saturday night two concerts and one morning two morning services in at Celebration Church in Green Bay all right, so set all the alarm clocks at Walmart House <laughs> to go for five minutes. Why no one congrats me when I win? Yeah, when you win, we'll congratulate you, Neil. I mean, <laughs> not Neil, Michael. Sorry, Neil. <laughs> I was answering for Neil. And the toilet papers keep rolling. <laughs> it's time for prayer requests. Alrighty. Okay. If anybody needs prayers, let me know. Of course, pray that this fraud guy doesn't go any further with my daughter's social security number. Tossing pillows to see if they are toss pillows because you only have one. <laughs> Praying for more gigs for Nan. Thank you, Sarah. Prayer for the family of Nancy Forrest who passed early Easter service. Oh, Beverly will be praying for her family. Happy birthday to Maha. Yeah, some, a lot of people didn't understand my post on, uh, on the weekend. Guys, my son John got baptized on the 14th at night maha had their birthday on the 15th and and good friday so i just put them all together i said she was born he was baptized and then jesus was crucified but i guess a lot of people didn't get it but happy resurrection day i'm so excited three reasons to celebrate i was so happy for john getting baptized i mean he's a believer but he felt the need to go and get baptized. So praise God, all my kids are now baptized. Yes, I I baptized Tally on her 11th birthday at Crossroad Church. I baptized Carol in the Jordan River in, in Israel, Palestine. And now John got baptized. I got it now, three amazing things to thank you, Sarah. Praise God, thank you, Chris, yes. And spoken for Sarah, pray for me, plumbing problem in kitchen at Cove. And for unspoken problem, I will. I will, Lily. I apply for the day shift at Cove. I hope they give it to you. Pray I get it. Go back to day shift. Yes. Praying for peace in the world. Yes, yeah, going crazy. You know, in the Ukraine and all over. Feeling very overwhelmed today. Okay, Bobby will be praying for you. Good night, Chris Martel. Congratulations, I got it. That was cool, thank you. My mom's birthday was yesterday, I'm sorry. Why didn't Jesus baptize people? Just a question. Interesting, his disciples did. Because it says, when John the, the Baptist says, you know, there's one who is greater than me who's gonna baptize you with fire and the Holy Spirit. So, that's a good question. Because the baptism at the time was the understanding, you know, if you read, the, uh, if you read Mark 1, it talks about how, you know, John came in to baptize for the repentance 
It's a baptism of repentance. And Jesus came to pay for that, for all our sins. I really don't have a good answer. That's a good answer. I mean, that's a good question. I'll, I'll look it up more. I'll, I'll, I'll ask more, but I'll find out for you. Good question. Prayer for you, Naz, as you travel and during your meeting. Thank you so much. Praying for our Xerox copy machine. All right. Prayers, prayers lifted. What a great Easter weekend for your family. It is. I praise God. I'm so thankful. Prayer. Anybody else needs prayer? I think maybe it had something to do with that being our commission, the Great Commission. You go there and baptize them. That's that's a good answer too. I'll look. Keep Maggie Jo and her son's eye issue until they're healed. Okay. Pray for me as I'm fighting an unknown illness. Oh, Matthew, we'll be praying for you and your family. Betty Hardy, my grandson's almost five years and he doesn't speak very many words. Oh, he has been in speech therapy one day a week for 30 minutes. He needs more than that. Pray that he will he will have sentences. I, we will pray for your grandson. When Jesus touched a person, that person was touched and baptized by the Spirit. Okay. I praise God for made it to Easter sunrise service yesterday. That's awesome. All right. Anybody else needs prayer? Praise God. Prayers for you and your safe travel as you go out to do the upcoming show. Thank you, Bobby. Really, guys, you know, I love you. I just want you to know when Jesus rose from the dead, that means he confirmed that everything he said is true. You can take it to the bank. You can, whatever Jesus promised in his word, you can, that's sealed eh, by his resurrection. He said he was going to rise from the dead. They're going to kill him, but he's going to rise from the dead. And he did. And boom, that's it. Done. Case closed. Believe it by faith and move on. Prayers for our chief and family. He crossed over last night in his sleep. All right, that's good. We'll be praying for his family. Praying for all the whole world. It's all crazy right now. Pray that his kingdom come and it will be done on earth. You know what? I just I just want to encourage you a little bit. Yesterday, my church did a lot of baptisms, a lot. They asked people to come forward and get baptized in their own clothes. And they did that at several churches around the country on Easter. There's probably thousands of people were baptized yesterday. Guys, Jesus is still on the throne. He's still in control. There's still people turning their lives to him. You know, as much as Satan and these people that claim, oh, Christianity is this and we, you know, morality is, and they, you know, we got a new morality and this is the right thing and, and we know it's all evil. Guess what? Jesus is still on the throne. And boom, he can surprise people. And to see that many people come forward and get baptized yesterday, that was so encouraging to, because I knew, you know what, if one person of those really took it serious and went out and shared the gospel, there'll be many, many more people would come to Christ. Amen. Blessings on Maha's celebration of her birthday and blessings on spiritual growth for John and his. Thank you, Beverly. I appreciate that. Jesus tells us, the truth in Romans 11.4. Yes, he is the truth. Praying for all right now. All right, guys. I love you. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow at 6.30 for the podcast.